a very clever border collie named Rosie turned herself into a British police station after getting spooked by fireworks. So the fireworks scared Rosie, Rosie snuck away from her owner because of the fireworks and then was lost. Let me give you all the deets. Rosie's owners, Steve and Julie Harper said the 10 year old rescue dog ran away at about 4 p.m. I would die. Yeah. It happened while Harper, 68, was walking her and their other dog, Laser, at, uh, with their other dog, uh, Laser, at Southfields Park in the town. Now, Julie Harper explained that she went and stood with her dad, which she does when she's nervous, meaning Rosie, and then skedaddled <laughs> when the firework went off. She pushed herself through a hedge and handed herself in, uh, into the police station. The police station is right next to the park. And we actually have CCTV footage of her going into the police station. So let's take a look at that. All right, we can keep our mics up. So there she is, she's going in, she's like, I'm lost, I'm lost. Please help me, please help me. Look at her. And then she like goes over to the corner, plops down and waits for help. Oh. We don't deserve them, everyone, but they love us anyway. Oh, a, a dog went to the police looking for help, proving that dogs are not as smart as I always thought they were. The dog was unfortunately viciously beaten by the police. Don't say that. I'm that didn't happen. about is, all of that. This is uh, in the UK, not the US. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. They're, they're fine. Um, no, that was a good skedaddle and a good dog. I. It, it is weirdly compelling, just CCT footage of a dog circling. Dude, I can't take my I, eyes I off. I want to watch it. it all day. Yeah, that's, that's all I wanted. Just the B-roll of the dogs earlier. Why do people have to set off fireworks constantly? Yeah, do they man. not get how it terrorizes dogs I, like Rosie? I don't know how Laser took it, but Rosie has had enough. No more fireworks. Yeah, I look. I think we should ban fireworks. I'm good with fireworks. Let's watch them on TV if we're gonna watch them. No, no, ban them completely. Like yeah. we don't need them for the Fourth of July. I think dogs are more important than fireworks. Yeah. And the Fourth of July. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ra just rather than having the fireworks, just spray paint a bunch of dogs red, white, and blue, and let them run amongst the parade goers. <gasps> That's way better than fireworks. Oh my God! We should do that. I would. I would pay top dollar to attend that event. Oh, but just be in a place where a bunch of dogs are running around. That that can take off. That I is, can see that. Oh my God! No, this is genius. I'm gonna start it. And obviously, don't spray paint the dogs in red, white, and blue. It's a sure, terrible whatever. idea. Fine. But maybe they can wear patriotic Food garb. Die. You know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? No, <laughs> we don't need to dye the dogs. Don't dye. There the dogs. have to be different colors. <laughs> that sounds like a great time. Yeah, that does sound like a great time. You know, what's a great time. TYT Fourth of July celebration. Oh. Everyone brings their dogs. Dress patriotically. No fireworks allowed. I love it. <gasps> we should do it. The only yeah. thing that would make that better is no other people, just me and dogs. But I'll take the people if necessary. I mean, it's, <laughs> yeah. I just want to be alone in a field with dogs. But I love a segment that gets to have right here. It just says lost pup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, love. we've got more details. So Julie and her husband were really upset, which as I would be. Like if I lost Charlie, I don't know what I would do, um, but. They did receive a call from the police station to indicate that Rosie had been found. Officers at the station saw Rosie and luckily she was wearing a collar. Most dog owners make sure to put a collar on their dog. With clear you, identification. Exactly, so if you, you haven't done that and you have a dog, please do it. Um, because it could make all the difference. Um, and in their Facebook post with uh, the video of Rosie, the police station wrote this. Our staff fetched some water for Rosie and made fast friends with plenty of fuss. God, I love people in the UK. Like I love the word fuss. How come we don't say fuss? I I kind of like I oh, I wish I had Rosie. Oh, Rosie's great. I've known dogs that looked identical to Rosie. Uh, Rosie's great. Also, British accent and slang. Yeah, I wish I had it. So good. It's, it's their so slang good. is just better. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what a lovely, clever dog uh, they finish saying oh. in their statement. And then, yeah, we've got all these fun. Photos. I apologize for besmirching the cops in that particular, or the bobbies in that particular place. <laughs> they did a good job. I apologize. Yeah. And then oh, uh, the, laser. The other dog is laser. Yeah. He's a good boy, too.
He was a bit braver, but, but he's a good boy. And, and look, be mindful of all the animals who are afraid of fireworks before you think about setting off fireworks. I'm just saying, okay, that's point number one. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Animals are innocent. They are, they are and they, they don't know what us. it is. They can't process it. Why but do look into CBD so oil. Much? That's the thing. Do I deserve it? Don't. Do I deserve Charlie's love? I think that you've done a great job of raising him, protecting him, keeping him happy. I want to give him everything. I want to give him a backyard, but I can't afford it, Charlie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. That's him looking at the camera thinking, I want a backyard. He does love outdoor space. I want to ride uh, on a skateboard around my backyard. He's such a little cutie pie. Aww. By the way, I- Where are the uh, cops?